Dear all, I welcome you all to this course of geometric design. I am to give you an introduction about this course so that you will be well informed that whether you will like to have it or not, but I hope and I am confident that you will be taking up this course as I tell you what are the advantages of doing that. I am Rajat Rastogi, a professor in Department of Civil Engineering at Indian Institute of Technology, Roorkee, and I am going to be the course instructor for this course. Now, who can be the stakeholders for this? This course is open to UG students as well as the PG students who are studying in either civil engineering or as a part of civil engineering in the transportation engineering and both of them are going to be benefited out of it. In the case of PG students, it may be a core course, but for UG students, this can be an elective. It may also be helpful to the faculty who are having limited resources with them and they can take help from this and can create their own modules and teach that at their respective locations. It is also going to be helpful to the highway design engineers or professionals who have already studied, who are already working in this area, but then if they want to refresh it, their knowledge, they can do it by using this course and going through it. Industry personals are also going to be benefited. For them, it is helpful in the area of highway planning, design of facilities, and because all of these road constructions are going to be there, so how these have been taken care of, I'm not going to talk here the pavements, but I'm going to talk in terms of the geometrics. So what the people are going to gain out of this course once they go through it? The very first thing is the detailed knowledge. And this detailed knowledge is going to be related to the various types of roads and highways and the type of facilities which needs to be provided on them. They will also acquire skills on the highway geometric designs, which is a, a sort of a skill being sought by all consulting organizations. So if you have done that, probably you have an edge with respect to other students. So that helps you in a better job prospects in the core area. And it helps in re-strengthening the basics which are required to pursue a research if you are doing say PhD etc. in the area of geometric design. About the course, this course is a core type. It is available for both UG and PG. It will be delivered in 30 hours lectures. Each week we are going to have an interaction for 2.5 hours. So total 12 weeks are going to be there and the credits for this course are 3. And if we look at the broad constituents of this course, then it is being divided into 5 modules. The first module is related with the design factors and site distance requirements is going to be covered in around 5 hours. So here we will look at uh, the various types of site distances which needs to be provided. The next module is the cross-sectional elements and the road furniture which also needs to be embedded along with those elements and probably we are going to cover in around 8 hours. So here we will look at for all single lane, two lane, multi lane, expressways etc. and specific facilities for pedestrians or bicyclists or the different type of road furniture in terms of markings, uh, traffic signs, delineators all. The third module will be on alignment design and again we may dedicate around 8 hours here too. Here we are going to look at the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment and the constituents of horizontal and vertical alignment. We will also be talking about the coordination between those alignments and the various issues which have been observed in practical conditions will also be discussed while we take up these type of section. The next module that is uh, fourth is going to be intersection layouts. We will be giving around 5 hours to this module and we will discuss about at grade intersections as well as grade separated intersections or interchanges along with the auxiliary lanes, the channelizations, the ramp materials in terms of metering, in terms of lane balancing etc. And the last module is going to be the design of facilities which again will be covered in 5 hours where we will be specifically talking about parking facilities, bus bays, bus shelters, bus rapid transit facilities, truck laybys, toll plazas and pedestrian facilities. So this is the overall thing which we are going to cover in this uh, particular course and I hope that uh, this is going to be quite useful to you. Therefore, I welcome you on board for this course and I hope that by the end of this course you will have a sufficient information on the subject and that will be helpful to you and your future endeavors. With that, thank you and bye.